All right, this is everything that you may be interested in uh, for the Milwaukee uh, M18 power supply. Um, it runs off of four batteries. They don't all have to be the same. In this instance, I have a 6.0 and just a couple of fives. Um, you can run all the way up to the 12.0 batteries. Uh, it does have this lock at the top. This is one thing I didn't know about when I bought it, but you can actually uh, move this bar over so they can't be removed. And then when you do that, there's a location there that you can put a uh, proper padlock to make sure nobody can steal your batteries. Um, you can plug it in and it will charge all four batteries. Uh, it's a pure sine wave inverter, which means that you can plug your electronic components into it, like your laptops, your phones, um, they're more delicate electronics. On the other types of generators, typically it's a modified sign or it's just not pure sign, but they'll actually damage or wreck your electronic components. This one will not. Um, what will happen is if you have different types of batteries, uh, it will drain until, you know, you can output power until the lowest battery is out of juice. So if you've got six, if you have 6.0 batteries in three slots and you have a 5.0 battery in one slot, the 5.0 battery is gonna die first. Um, and when that happens, um, the, the entire unit will shut down. You get a 15 amp circuit out of this. I think it's 3,600 starting watts, 1,800 uh, running watts. So, um, you know, if there's something with a lot of inertia that it needs to overcome, for instance, I was running a, a water boiler here uh, just to kind of do a stress test on it. You know, it, it got the water up to boiling and it didn't take so much energy to keep it at boiling. So um, it, 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 can, it, can, it can use a lot of energy to start something if you got like a fan or something with a lot of inertia. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else can I tell you about it? 700 bucks. Uh, Northern Tool and Equipment here in Minnesota is the only store that actually carries this right now. Um, I'm sure it'll be coming elsewhere. Uh, do, batteries do get hot, so I do recommend the high output. Uh, you know, these are just red lithium, but you know, I would recommend a high output battery, perhaps a 12.0, so it doesn't, you know, it runs cooler. Uh, because I do know when I ran with this with 5.0 batteries, what happened was the batteries overheat, at least with the water boiler and um, it, it shut down because of the temperature of the battery. It's not because it was out of battery, not, not because that was totally out of power. So yeah, anyway, this is, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Um, you know, you can, uh, it's hard to kind of get an idea of how heavy this is, but it's about 25 pounds uh, without batteries. So, you know, it's, it's pretty beefy, but anyway, hope that helps. And if anybody has questions, shoot me a comment and I'll try my best to, to answer. Uh, yeah, take it easy. Oh, one last thing. GFCI. I believe these are grounded outlets. Don't quote me on that. Make sure you read the manual if you buy it. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are ground. it has a, a GFCI um, built into it. Also, USB-C and just USB. And then I'll unplug this and it's going to shut off the charging. But that's your input, you know, just standard plug. So anyway, guys, have a good rest of the day. Bye.